So if, I, if I can introduce myself for my first podcast ever. Yes, sir. My, bueno. Name, my, bueno. Name, my name is Chuck Beach. Chuck Beach. AKA love, Chucky Bueno. Chucky Bueno. And I love everybody in this world because Jesus Christ says he said you it. should love everyone. And y'all know what that means. Once again, we are back with another Dots Podcast. Y'all see the thunder rumbling outside, but it's good. We recording. Can you see thunder, Dion? I can't see it, but we're not even going to think about the My thunder. My bad. Go ahead. Take it away. We are going to get on some thunder because now we're not thinking about the thunder outside. We're thinking about the thunder inside on the funny level. I'm always thinking right. of the I'm always thinking of the thunder down under. Thunder you know what down. I mean, ladies? Ooh, I always down, talk to the ladies. I'm 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 our I'm our I'm our uh, correspondent. I'm our black hole to yeah. the ladies. Her. Like yeah. a black hole in space. I'm I'm trying to, you know, catapult us. Yeah, I know what it is. We need about five, six women to like come bouncing around here That's hanging good. with us. You know what so, I mean? Once again, y'all know what it is. This is Sorry. That's view. Podcast, aka NWI Podcast, no deal with intelligence. Learn it. You already know. I got my boy E Adlib over here, and I got my other brother, Love my boy Chuck. Love my boy D right here, man. Love my boy Dion. This is my guy. Y'all gonna see him on the channel a little bit more or hear him. He getting out. Of, he getting up out of Orlando right now, but. We're going to do one with him before he go. Now, and the only reason that I'm not wearing underwear this time is because, damn it, I just didn't have enough time. Go ahead. Take it away. <laughs> so, y'all, you already know we got the usual comment from my boy E. And we're going to have some commentary from my boy Chuck. This or, time. Ruby dooby doo. Ruby dooby doo. Just let him know yeah. this is my first first podcast yeah. so this is first podcast y'all uh, see i'm gonna be a little shot yeah he's mad at the beginning i'm gonna be a little shot at the beginning matter of fact where the phone at chuck doesn't phone. realize he's already said that three what, times where the hell did i put my phone at I don't know Put it in the middle, in Chuck. Let's do a hands in the middle with Chuck because this is Chucky yeah. Bueno's first this time here. Hands in the middle. Hands in the middle, and Dion's gonna put a big old poof on that later. Poof. Mm-hmm. There we so, go. Today, I can't find my phone right now, but today we're gonna be talking about the. Oh, matter of fact, here we go. Sorry is, about that. Is it today an, is it an Obama about... phone? No hell. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's spring. <laughs> you know me. But y'all, today we're talking about comedians. As y'all can see, we tried to basically give y'all the tone of the show. Without giving y'all the, without saying the tone of the show, you know, E came in with the slick comedy one two one two. So today we're talking about influential comedians and every and shows that influence us um, to become comedical type of people. Um, now everybody and my is favorite, comedians. And my favorite, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead, go ahead. And my favorite is George Carlin. See, that's my favorite. We gonna that's start out. out. We gonna start out with that after. All was said and done. We're gonna do a segment later. It's gonna call be called Bueno Knows. <laughs> bueno. No. Okay, get back to you, but yeah, so Take it away. Now, we are going to explain to you guys our picks of the favorite comedians and uh, shows. I better get out my notes. Them. So, E gonna get his notes. Gonna get his mind right. Me, I'm gonna go ahead and spit it. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say my favorite show okay. of all time is Martin. Martin, now, why do you? Why is Martin one of your favorite shows of all time? Oh, yeah. Nice. Not only does he wear many suits when he's doing the show. I do like that. I do like that. Is that like Dolly Parton, a coat of many colors? You said many suits. Anyways, you, you're a country music like that, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. He's just a comedian genius. Yes. And he made it for himself. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I'm 37 years old. When I grew up, that's who I watched and that's who I loved. There yes. you go. Me, I, I, I'm going to bounce off what Chuck said. Because being a, a Michigan-based... Um, Caliber person, 2, ladies two, and gentlemen. All day, all day. So being Michigan-based and being at the Martin Show was based in Detroit. Yes, we, it, oh, was. I didn't know yes that. it was. Yeah, I didn't know. It was that. based in Detroit. Yes, it was. We yes, had a uh, we had a close affiliation to that um, to Martin himself because not only did Martin bring out um, Michigan comedians for what they were, but he also, well, also helped inequality. Yeah, and, inequality. And inequality. Also. Yes, he he wow. brought the inequality and he also helped. Um, what did he say? Know Anna, his, um, what did he say? Anaconda. 
I mean, he was fine. What Mark did he say? Oh, line. equality. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, my bad. My bad. So, Gina! Gina! Hey! <laughs> you know, he's... That's how we do it. His comedic, That's how we do it. His comedic influence was was palpable to... Who the hell are we talking George about? George Carlin. Who are we talking about? You're talking about Martin. Martin. Now oh, Martin, Martin Lawrence. Martin so, Lawrence. Martin yeah, Lawrence. okay, yeah, I'm with you. Martin with Lawrence you. was... I, I got I off put, the rails. I'm sorry. Go I ahead. put Martin on um, the level with Mr. Carlin. Absolutely. Top I thought two. he was going to say Mr. Top Rogers. Two. Top two. Yes. Top two for now, me. When did I say Mr. That's Carlin? Because Martin had a certain style about himself where he would tell the truth. And if he had to force it to make you understand what that truth was, he would do it. And then, if he didn't have to, he would smooth it over. And then other than Urkel and Fresh Prince, Her, he, made, he made way more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Uh, headway, yes, in in, in, in Central down. America, yeah. in Central America, you know, yes, then the old stupid Steve Urkel. Oh, I got it. matter of fact, I got, I got something for y'all. This is this, I got something new. What is it, Dion? Do. I got something new that we're gonna do. All right, what do we got? I want to put or ask you to um, a short series of questions. Oh boy. It's gonna be like four, four questions. Should I? And I, I'm put, I think I gotta put down my shades for yeah. this one. Look, and uh, and by the way, uh, all you dots view, uh, you know, fans, we're we're still bringing up, we're still bringing you up and stuff like that. But yeah, this yeah. is the first time I shed the sunglasses. You know, see how ugly I am. Why? That's why hey, I wear the damn sunglasses. So. In, the, in the comments, just hit up Eric. You're great. And That's we're gonna good. be good, y'all. Just put Eric. That's all good. So right now, ugly I'm to uh. Half-assed, good-looking. Yeah. Take it away, Dion. He, he's not. Yeah. Forget what Eric's talking about, y'all. Well, I'm gonna ask my two cohorts a series, uh, four questions. I'm, I'm gonna try to do this because I, I want to get. Um, this is gonna be fun. fun. Yeah. So my four, my four questions. Oh shit. For you two. Oh god. First question. You had one of your comedians. Who is one of your comedians on there? Do you just want me to pick somebody at random? Somebody, I'll somebody tell you what. I'm just going to go for the first one that I happened to write last night, which was Robin Williams. Robin Williams. You. That's beautiful. Who, who would be? That's you? beautiful, but George Carlin. Okay. Well, now, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now, well I, I also had George Carlin okay. written down. Now, but... now, you got Robin Williams. You got Robin Williams. Uh, uh, George Carlin. George Carlin. Got Robin you got uh, Robin, Robin Williams. Robin Williams, yeah. Who do you think had more impact between those two? Oh, Jesus, God in heaven, it's George Carlin. Yeah, Are you absolutely kidding me? George Carlin. Okay, hold now, on. Now. Did you see how long I waited to answer that? Okay, now hold like, on. Like, no time. This is what I want to do. Chuck, explain in at least 30 seconds on how George Carlin was... Um, Take it away, Chucky and, Baby. And why he would be that one. Talk about George wow, Carlin a little is, bit. This is my first podcast, and you put me on the spot. We love okay. you, Chuck. We love you. Boy, um, you know... I don't know if it'll take 30 seconds, no, but he just basically told everyone that there's stupid people in this world. It doesn't matter what color you are. If you're stupid, yes. you're fucking stupid. Yes. Wow. Okay. Now, That's it. Explain why Robin Williams was as effective or iconic as he was. You know what? And you know my uh, comedy deal. Or, you know, here's what we do. Um, well, I have a handicapped brother, which most of y'all don't know. Give a shout out to Ed. He's got spina bifida. He's uh, four years older than me, and he's shout awesome. out Ed. So I'll tell you what. This is my brother who I grew up with. And when I was sitting there last night thinking and writing down, because Dion lets me know what we're going to be doing. Sometimes he don't, but yeah, um, here's on. the dealio. Um, for whatever reason, last night I wrote down as the first one, Robin Williams. And the small backstory behind it, to not take up too much time, is I'm so damn old, I had it on vinyl. I played it on a needle. <laughs> Remember the vinyl? <laughs> Seriously. I'm not kidding. Right there, I'm, not you kidding. Yeah, yeah, nice, I'm not nice, kidding nice. you. And me and my brother, Ed, the Ed Meister. Say yeah. Ed Meister real loud. Ed Meister. Ed Meister. There we go. Um, but yeah. And there yeah, was this right, one joke that he said, I don't know, because Robin Williams is a totally whacked out character. He was but he was doing like something that. about an echo. And you know when you like yell in a cave or something like that, like mm -hmm. when you yell, hello, you'll hear, hello, 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 hello. 
<laughs> but when he yelled in this one cave, he yelled, hello, and it yelled back, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was only like nine or ten, and you know, F F bombs weren't like huge in my life totally yet. Yeah, that's but I was like, oh my god, you okay. know, I love comedy. And by the way, I don't want to, you know, I know we just mentioned one or whatever, but I'm just gonna because we're gonna be talking about more stuff. But Richard Pryor, I actually that, got that's, my, that's my the mother. Segue. That's the same yes, way. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hold that question. Hold that question. Okay. Yeah, but Richard Pryor. Story we, we, later. You say Richard Pryor. Story later. Now, story later. Yeah, story later. We're going to segue wow. into the second question that I got. Thank you for all that time, Dion, by oh, the way. Yeah, you good. Thank I'm, you very much. I'll, 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 I keep it all on there. But all the right. second question, if you can keep within the time restraint. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, second question. Answer go, it, um, the answer will go to you first. Oh, boy. How did... Um, you say who did you say first? Uh, Robin Williams. Robin Williams. How did Robin Williams curb your comedic um, appetite, or how did Robin Williams curb your comedic stance on things? I got okay. a question right away. If I can, no, yeah, this, yeah, you know, let him answer first. Oh. Patch Adams, the movie Patch Adams. Okay, did it for me. One hundred percent. I like that. Patch like that. Adams. And why? And why would Patch Adams? Why was it so... Um, because you could tell he was so... In his well, mind, he was so fucked up. Okay. Like, Fresh. he committed suicide, obviously. Okay. But in that movie, he just wanted to help people with laughter. Mm -hmm. Which is what the world needs right now. Absolutely. We need laughter. Absolutely. Right now, we need yeah. laughter. Yes, we do, man. Yes, we, we, we and do. And who brings and it? Stop the hate. We do. Yes. And stop the hate. That's why. Stop that, that. That's all I'm okay. So who, why did um, Robert Williams influence you okay. comedically? Here's the deal, yo. Um, I, again, you know, Dion, how long-winded I could be, but I'm going to try to keep it short as hell. Yeah, keep it short. But in any event, don't feel sorry for me, people, because I always had a great, that's e. decent, I'm enough, e. decent enough life, but I was an abused child as a youngster and things like that. And that's the only, way I, could, that's the only way I could deal with things. And I even, I even got my ass beat because of it, because when this monster used to be above me mm. and things like that and doing somehow I laughed and smirked and it got my ass beat exponentially harder. Yeah. But somehow that's, that's the true. only way that I could deal with it. Where if you remember in previous podcasts, I said, my belief is comedy is Comedy is born of tragedy and controversy. Yes, and we can take the bad exactly. and make it good. Yeah, which is exactly. why, which is, which exactly. is why I work in the industry that I work in. Y'all don't know that, but guess what? Every day, and that's why I love my job. Doesn't matter how much I get paid. No, I take a bad situation and make it into a good situation, Even better. and not only good but great sometimes. I, I actually two nights ago I got great stories about a, a couple of things and whatever but take it away Dion yeah but that's my answer hopefully that answers your question and Dion because he did. he helped me how to slap because things. Robin Williams actually did talk about controversial things and he yeah. you, you remember how animated Robin Williams is he Rest was like a he was like a surreal individual. Mrs. Yeah. Doubtfire. Yes. Yeah, yeah but, know, but everything but, he used to do but just was even awesome. on a, but just oh, even on man. a talk show he would come out on David Letterman and break out into like 50 characters before his 10 damn minute uh, conversation was over. Yeah, I, I mean, this lie. guy was wild. I can't so lie. that's how I dealt with it. And it wasn't only Robin Williams, it was a number of people, but I always dealt with, with adversity in my life and I put it to comedy because that's how it meant, helped me cope. Yeah, and so, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with the same thing, like, like I, he said, um, I know, I'm, I'm gonna let Chuck go ahead and hit y'all with but it. But just real quick. Yeah. Like Patch I'm Adams. Sorry, I did take long. It, it, I'm a 37 year old grown man. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Patch Adams makes me cry every time I see it. That man had trouble, but he also tried to bring happiness to the world. And I'm going with it. I'm, I'm going to bounce off what both of them said because um, I actually wanted to, to express a little bit of what both of them were saying. Um, when it came to Chuck saying um, how tragedy um, brought a smile to the faces through Patch Adams and how Eric was saying how his former um, former things that happened in his life, the former misdealings and everything that happened in his life and the, the abuse of people in his life 
caused him to basically turn to comedy. Absolutely. It was the state. I'm part of both of those worlds. I I was raised, as, as you already know, I'm from a, uh, I'm not from the rich part of town. I'm not from a rich family. I got a huge family and we never had that much. But one thing we did have was one thing we did have, I'm sorry. Family. I, yeah. Barometer. We had family. Love. We had that comedy. Came, people that cared about you. They yeah, didn't we want had, you going um, out there and making a mess. At all. And then what they did was they said, listen, if you can take a situation that will have you go off the edge and you can take that situation, turn it around to have you rip on to to land basically basically not jumping over the edge is what I'm trying to say. Shouldn't if every you, day shouldn't every day be a great day for whatever reason? It, Look, it should. I've, I've had I've had more money than I should have sometimes, and trust me, I've been through some bad shit too. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, somehow I've smiled through it, and I'll tell you what, especially Chucky Bueno because I've known him like a longer time than Dion, but I love Dion. Dion's my brother. And things like that. And we're growing like that. Yes, sir. But it's like, you know what? These are the guys who I can count on, baby. See? And they don't let me go out and do nothing wrong. And it's the same thing. I would look out for them. And trust me, we've got stories of how that's already been accomplished. See? And that's the and that's the whole point of uh, the, the whole comedy thing is what I'm saying. With influential comedy, it's not just because it makes you laugh. Um, comedy is born through tragedy. Comedy is born through hard, yeah, controversy. My point exactly, times. Robin but, Williams. But remember what I wrote earlier. Make, he, because... Robin Williams tried to make the entire world happy, and what well, ended up well, happening? Wow, that what is ended up being happy? Tragedy. What ended up happening? Tragedy. He, 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 he killed, killed himself. himself. He killed himself when satisfied because he couldn't find uh, he couldn't find another sort of happiness to go up under. Well, and because he. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. No, to no, no. You, I was gonna no, say because, because he, he basically oh. the reason he didn't, um, he couldn't find a happiness is because he couldn't find people that would genuinely like him for him. Well, here's he was the always deal. finding. He was Hollywood always in the icons. entertainment industry. Yeah, he was always finding in the I, entertainment I, industry. icon stuff like that. I, th yeah, this just came to me like an epiphany, just to be quite honest with you, because when I really think very deeply about Robin Williams, and trust me, I I know what I'm talking about here and stuff is you know what i mean he was so incredibly surreal to the outside person looking at him yeah can you imagine what he felt about inside. himself inside looking at himself yes from the inside what a caricature what a character what he always had to be pinocchio yeah. every day yeah like rest. whatever whatever absolutely but, he, but could, he, he couldn't rest man he couldn't absolutely. rest. well and that's fine you know what billy joel made a song and i don't know i i guess i must not be good or i, I don't know or maybe i'm on the cusp but billy joel made a song called only the good die young and yeah. that song is very prophetic to me yeah. because so many people in our lives in all of our growing up lives there's some and plenty that have died young, not only celebrities. I'm talking about people out on the Chris streets, Farley. too. Because, yeah, Chris Farley? Chris Farley? Yeah, not only people, celebrities, yeah. too, but people we know out on the street. No, you have people grew up like with uh, people that we know yeah, that you died had, when we were you kids. Had people so. like your, um, you had people like, let's say you had a next-door neighbor who was the one person that could to drag you out of any situation yeah. that you was in. You had a grandmother, you had a grandfather, you had a uh, mother, you had a father. Anybody, you had somebody, an auntie, you had an uncle. An auntie, uncle. An auntie, or, an uncle. Or you had one of those, one of your, your people's friends, one of your friend's parents that were so much like your parent that you could relate to them and tell yeah. them things that you couldn't yeah. tell your parents. That's what we call community, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's and guess where, what? Isn't community lacking? That's what it is. My and that's goodness. why today, that's why comedy. That was today, a great segue right today, there. Today, community is today, black. Community is yes, black. Yes. Yes. And that's why you want it. Yeah. As put it, put, it, put so it in the middle. Hold on. Every, everybody's community. got community. Say it out loud. Community. Say it out loud. Community. 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 The, yeah, man. The news is that's getting, what we the do. news is telling everybody hate. Yeah. But from what I see in my life, is people still love one another people trying to you no know, people trying to survive and what the comedy is not to get off the subject because i think we we haven't we might, even spoke about have, one or two comedians yet, might, uh, but go uh, ahead we're going no. off the rails but we love no. going off the rails don't no, we be on we don't go off the rails all right, all right. I, I got it mentally in here okay. what we're gonna all do right. is we're going to rattle off um besides um what we were just talking about we're gonna bring it back to the latter note okay. and we're going to rattle off the comedians and the shows absolutely that made us 
like who we like. Uh-oh. So me, I'm going to go first. You um, made E. You made E shed his goggles. Again. Yeah, I'm going to go first, and I'm going to let yeah. y'all know who. The hi, people hi, ladies. Yeah, that were, um, I've opened up my eyes. You can see how ugly I am now. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know who was influential. Let me get my notes together. There we go. Okay. Dion so, needs to get his shit together, people. Oh no, I'm good. So I'm first, just joking. The first person <laughs> that was influential to me, and we're gonna oh. we're gonna do this kind of like a lightning round. Okay. Hopefully, we're gonna do it like a lightning round. Y'all know Eric B. Long winded as hell. Oh, we're gonna, we gonna try to cut him off instantaneously if he get too long. All but right, that's we're gonna we're going to go a lightning round on the comedians that we feel made an impact in our life um, to all the situations that we explained to y'all earlier. So, to me, my first one is Sam Kennison. The reason I like Sam Kennison is because he had an in your face type of humor. Now, we're gonna go to either Eric or uh. I'm gonna Chuck. say my next one after George Carlin would be would be um man I just had it in my fucking head. Eddie, um, that's okay. We got um, your back, uh, Chuck. Chappelle. Ah, Chappelle. Chappelle. Oh, there we Chappelle. go. Chappelle. Eric, Chappelle. Who's, your, who's one of yours? Uh oh, well, that's right. We're in lightning round. Mm-hmm. Um, I already mentioned these two, so I'm gonna go Cosby. Nobody All mentioned right. Cosby yet. Yeah, my next one would be we just said them like a hundred times. The late great George fucking Carlin. Thank you, my yes, boy. Sir. Yes, Thank sir. you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was born and raised with that. You. I'm going to go Love one George. time for uh, Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Yes, Billy. <laughs> BB, <laughs> Billy Burr. Who you got? Who you got down there? Oh, shit. George Wallace. Remember, we talked George about him earlier. Wallace. George yeah, Wallace. We're talking about George Wallace. He's an icon. My next one would be Andrew Dice. Oh, Clay. shit. Respect the Dice. What? Respect the dice, man. You know what? He respect didn't roll it. He didn't man. roll a twelve. He rolled a thirteen. A thirteen. You God better respect it. it, Chuck. Who are you going with? Cedric the Entertainer. Oh, he was not. He, yes, yes. Who are you going with? I'll tell you what. He got, um, Chuck got some hard hit his name. All right. Well, uh oh, I might get a couple booze out there, or something like that, because we all got different opinions. But I'll tell you, from just a Pure comedy standpoint, Louis C.K. Rump nice. roll. Nice. Okay. Rump yeah. roll. Rump roll. He, he's Uh-oh. cool. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go old school because y'all don't respect him. Uh-oh. Because he doesn't get respect like that. What do we got? Rodney Dane. Yeah, yeah. the boom. Yeah. 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 There we go. There we go. Give him some respect, Yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Give <laughs> boy Rodney Dash for some respect. Chuck, who you who you All going right, with? So I don't get no next, respect. Next, I'm gonna have no. to hit Ron White. Tater 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 you know, when you pull up to a traffic light, you got the red light, you got the yellow light, you got the green light. Mm. Well, the red means stop. Stop. The yellow means, well, proceed with caution. See. And the green means go. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. In the banana world, the yellow means go. Go. The green means stop. Stop. And the red means, where the fuck did you get that fucking banana? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was a tribute to the great Mitch Hedberg <laughs> right there. Mitch Hedberg, Mitchy Bueno Hedberg. I'm going to go one more super, super classic one. Oh, what you got, Dion? Bernie Mac. Oh, yes, motherfucking kids. Bernie yes. Mac. Uh-huh. Like God dang legend. Yes, God dang legend. Who, uh, who you got, Chuck? I guess my next one would be like Jeff Foxworthy. Ah, damn Love redneck, crazy ass redneck, blue collar tour. Who was your who you oh uh, you got over there? Oh, uh, you don't want you don't want Chuck to you know expand on Jeff Foxworthy? No, and Jeff Foxworthy is. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. We should we should love. Yeah, you Jeff. totally. I'll tell you what. Uh, Oh, oh uh-huh. well, I'll tell. Well, you know what? As long as I'm on the Hedberg thing, yes. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to the lowest common denominator, but I love him to death, Dougie Stanhope. Dougie, okay. He's no filters. He's not okay. for everybody. Okay. So, so y'all, now that we got most of the comedians out the way, we're going to lighten around a few comedic shows oh, that nice. made us nice appreciate comedy as well. Yeah. I'm gonna start off by saying 
in living color yes sir. made me respect Yes, sir. Comedy, sketch comedy, and improv comedy. In living color. Every single yes. person on there, down to the dancers, made me proud of that show, man. I raised, I, I, I raised, I raised two kids what with a say? homie sock. I say in living Hold color. on, that's a great joke right there, Dion. Oh, and I ain't gonna lie. Gonna forget Listen, it. I want to say that out loud. I raised two kids with a effing homie sock. Yes. I ain't even gonna lie. To yeah. You, you know what I mean? Friend. That homie homie played it. And the kids, man, they went crazy. They were making homie socks at school. So I got in trouble with the teachers. Jeff? If we're going to do a living color, I'm going to do the white version. Oh, Matt, 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 Matt TV. TV. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, Matt TV is the shit. Yes, E. What? Show, show that influenced you. Well, I'll oh, tell you what. Um, me? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yo, you said March. No, 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 Chuck. He said the show that gave you influenza. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah no, fuck. <laughs> no, no, you right. He Hold on, did I get confused again? That's always my problem. He said, yeah, he's an influenza. God damn it. Yeah, Look, said, Chucky's shooting me a bird. <laughs> Where, you know what? The, the principal's going to take him in the bathroom and paddle his ass three times. So, there you go. Which, which comedy show would you say to help influence you? Uh, uh, comedic? Martin, for real. Okay. That's Chuck said Martin. That's said Martin. Shit. Okay. Chuck yeah, keeps on Martin. stealing my thunder over here for whatever <laughs> fucking reason. I don't know. He's golden though. Well, I love blow, Chuck. You blow V8, so go ahead and speak for another I don't five blow minutes. I don't blow nothing. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and he speak said for I blow five more minutes. minutes. I don't blow nothing. You blow, blow V8. Nothing. You blow V8, man. Go ahead. Look, wait till he takes his hat off. He's gonna look like fucking Cornholio from <laughs> you know <laughs> Beavis and Butthead. He needs TP. It's all good. Off. But, oh, um, well, Dion, to finally answer your question, thank you very much for that. Gotcha. Um, but the most instrumental in my life was Saturday Night Live because I was around. Nice. Um, yeah, in, nice. Seven, nice. in 75, I was seven years old. You know, I, okay. I'm an old cat, but you all know me as Young Fitty. Young uh, Fitty. That's right. I know another one, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bounce off E. But SNL, yeah. Now. SNL's I'm, golden. I'm gonna bounce off E and name an old school one too. That right. Comedy Jam. Oh yeah. A lot of really well, good that comedians. was stand ups. That was stand ups. That's what I'm saying. That wasn't like SNL sketch comedy. No, no, no. It, it was yeah, a that comedic was pure show. Stand up. It was a yeah. comedic show. And I love, I love Apollo too. That's that's Absolutely. what made me want to do improv because and Apollo as well. I'm gonna mix both of those in. E, e, e said and you know that I mentioned Patrice O'Neill. I'm yeah. sure he's been on Apollo. Oh wow. man, yeah. Most of them been on Apollo or Little Cut. Most of them been on the shows that been popping. Me for uh, me, I liked um. Def Comedy Jam because they brought a raw sense it of did. comedy in. You, you got the unfiltered. Where did they film that? It was in uh, New York. They, I think they filmed oh, it in really? New York. I, I think okay, I, I yeah, you're right. Apollo. Apollo is in New York. My yeah. bad, my bad. So, okay. me, so I, I got I got one more. Okay, row, row. We're going to hit one more. I got one more. I got one more. I got one more. Gotcha. MC Hammer's talk show. Oh, I don't That's know. That's when I never tapped in. That's when I grew up. I, you know, too, I'm, I'm going to add to Chuck, to it. Arsenio Hall. Oh, yeah. Arsenio Hall had that. a very, very good show, man. They, you know what? On In Living Color, they made fun of how long his goddamn finger yeah. was. <laughs> you know what I mean? So y'all see y'all see how we doing right now. <laughs> I might have I right. I I messed that up, though. No, please, no. 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 Chuck Damn, looks man, like, like, Chuck what, looks what like he's Arsenio doing Hall. some... Arsenio yeah, Hall. Arsenio Hall. My bad. I you meant Arsenio up. Hall. I, I meant Arsenio Hall. Yeah, yeah Arsenio Chuck, had Chuck, a Chuck looks show. like he's ice fishing really, out somewhere really, in Green really, Bay, out on a lake. His ears are I'm all really covered drunk. and shit. You gotta forgive me. <laughs> Don't mind, Chuck. We we y'all know we do the podcast. How we do the podcast, dude? That but dude is fucking cornholio, man. But y'all, we basically the the sum and all. You of, smiling, um, Chuck? We love you, baby. Oh, we love you. Know it. We're having fun. Who's to, having fun? To some are we having fun? Yes, and we gonna stop right, Eric from talking right now. All right. Trying to Dion get gets mad at me. My okay, bad. Let me roll in the show, y'all. I don't blow nothing. This is how we do. Y'all know what it is. The comedians and the overall gist of what we saying basically is that comedy comes through chaos. Y'all see what we was doing? We made something happen off all the chaos, and it was also entertaining and funny enough for you guys to relate to. Take a piece of it and roll with it. Now, what we don't want you to do. Is take a tragic moment and make even more tragic moments with. If you can't translate 
tragedy into comedy, ask somebody else. Or look at the way somebody else translates um, comedy, uh, tragedy into comedy, sort of like Cat Williams, Dave Chappelle. Um, or like Maddie, Chuck, sir. or Chuck, I explained Chuck, today. Or we like, both explained yeah, two eat. very different stories, but they were both. And you, and you see how they good. both took yeah. the 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 essence of. We took comedy. the bad and made it good, baby. Because that's what you do with comedy. Yeah. Everything is not life ain't glitters and gold. Can I say something? The, yes. can, the cancel culture that are killing these comedians right now needs to go. Because yeah. comedy is comedy. Yeah. It's comedy. Funny is funny. Let's all still laugh. We and can't lose we can't lose the lose, gift of if laughter. You, if you lose your laughter, you lose your soul. I'm with Chuck on that. Cancel culture is a lot of people, the Shane Dawson's of the world, cancel them. Because they not doing what they supposed to do. But the the smaller folks that might have said something that they weren't supposed to say because they trying to reach where they're supposed to reach, give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm not saying as a black man, go ahead and let people. No, do I'm not saying that do. either. But yeah. comedy is comedy. Yeah. But comedy is. You know what? You know what's interesting. It's supposed Dion? to make. It's supposed to make people's souls feel better. Yeah, and the hearts feel and, better. And when they're canceling all this because people get butt yeah, hurt, pissed, butt hurt, but it's it's ruining people's souls feeling better. Yes. You know what's going to make me a lot happier? Because I just heard it about, like, maybe 20 seconds ago. Mm. When Dion goes like this, he goes, as a black man, well, I'll tell you what, there's going to be a great day on this fucking channel when Dion doesn't have to address himself as that. When he has to address himself as a man. And that's what that's, we do. And that's that, what we do. That's what we end that's at. That's the end. message that we project. Because and that's we what we have fun. You know what I mean? Because, Dion, if you never thought that I listen, and you know that I listen, mm -hmm. and things like that, that's why I had to say it. So thank you for giving me that little bit of time to say that, because when Dion says, listen, I'm just talking as a man, and he doesn't always have to preface it with yes, a black, black man, man, even though, hey, we're all proud of our heritage, and yes. of course we are, and things like that. We're in no 2020. History. We ain't in goddamn 1776 no fucking more. Not at all. You know what I mean? We're, I mean, we got to progress and things like that. And you know how much fun we have? And we got Chucky Bueno with us tonight. And we sent a limo for him. Because you know why? Because we needed him. That's we, what we needed did. him. We needed his edge. Gabe, by the way, if anybody's wondering... He, he's had to take a job. He got to go make some money. He's over there in Tampa and stuff, and God love him, right? Yeah, exactly. Because we miss Gabe. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Bueno somehow has exited stage left. So, yeah. Okay. Well, we, I'm so, done now. Like Thank I you. said in the beginning, as it says, don't tread on me. Oh, shit. So, don't let the sure. government tread yeah. upon you. Heard that. Y'all heard my my brother Chuck say he had to get in the camera on you. And y'all yeah. heard what my brother E said. Absolutely. I like this episode, particularly myself. I, this because, is um, my favorite Dion yet. Because it was... It is. Um, I'm not lying to you. This was... um. I let... I missed Gabe, but this is yeah, our, my this favorite is, one. Um, this was exercise. It was a nice little exercise for me. I'm, I'll tell you on a different podcast why. But for the, as long as this one goes, we're going to end it with the wisdom of E and the wisdom of Chuck. Wisdom? We that's want, a fucking... That's a powerful word. Yes. I actually wrote that down the other day. Ooh. Dion, when you say wisdom, wield that word carefully, sir. Yes. It, because, it wow. And I know Dion's got wisdom. We have deep conversations outside of your world out there. Trust me. Dion and I talk about deep stuff. Chucky Bueno, too. Listen, there's a lot more depth to us than you can imagine. But... Yeah, so Dion, take it away because I'm losing my damn headspace yeah. now. Yeah, I'm bloviating again. Oh, I'm blow. So I, I don't blow anything, Chuck. That's E. This is Chuck. This is Top Dot. There we go. This is Dot's View Podcast. We laid it down. We would love for y'all to subscribe if you're new. We would love for y'all to hit the bell if you're new. And we would love for y'all to comment if you're new. If you're not new, just go ahead and do all that anyway. And hey. until next time, Chuck. And I love all of you that are watching. Please tune in because there's a lot more great information coming here. Yes, sir. And with that being said, all and we in. want, hey, you know what? All you got to do is text hashtag we want Chucky back. 
Boom. Hey, what about that? And that, with that would be being said, cool. y'all, y'all already know what it is. Yep. We Hold on. I got to give Dion his proper exit now. I always give him his entrance. What, Dion? We gone. Are you